Hi everyone! Welcome back to our channel, or if you're new, I'm Becca. I'm So. And together we are Becca and So. That also happens to be our Instagram, we'll put it on screen here. Go follow us and subscribe if you haven't already. So in today's video, we're going to be doing what to take to uni. So exciting. So uni, you tend to start in September or October. Mm -hmm. So get ready, get packing with us. Yeah. We've obviously had to do it for three years in three a row. Three years, yeah. Um, and we've learned from our mistakes. Absolutely. In first year, I definitely took everything. I literally bought everything brand new, <laughs> took everything and you just don't need to. No, Absolutely. so we'll talk you through the basics yes. and some of our top tips. And yeah, just pack along with it. Okay, so the first things we wanted to talk about was crockery. So I've just got this very basic white set. So this is my uni set. It's got a bowl, a pasta bowl, like a little plate and a big plate. Um, you definitely do not need any more than this. No. This is like the max you need. The pasta bowl was actually really good because we ate dinner a lot of these. Um, and this for like cereal. And also I'd say don't go white. Yes, because <laughs> I think you've said this before. Yeah. You'll like get confused with other people's yeah. um, stuff. So okay. have a bit of a pattern, a bit of a yeah. colour, just to differentiate your own. I think yes. mine was pink. Yes, it was. And then mine, like my one of my flatmates, there were only 13 of us, and one of them had like the same Did they? as me. Oh, so wow. really annoying. Maybe don't go to IKEA. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next glasses and mugs. So I just had these two glasses. I also took like cocktail glasses, wine glasses, Prosecco. You do not need any of that. Just like these kind of glasses, you can have wine, you can have anything out of those, and then a pint glass is really good for water as well. Yeah, people do yeah. just end up drinking their drinks in anything. Absolutely, so really even mugs. Like, yeah. I've seen people drink out of bowls and stuff before. <laughs> and also, if you have like a big party, usually you have like plastic cups or whatever. Like the, yeah, like not the for the environment, but that's what you would yeah, do. Yeah, or like the reusable. Oh, plastic yeah, cups, like, like Starbucks ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's a Starbucks cup fan. <laughs> um, but yeah, loads of people have every kind of cup so yeah. you don't need loads i just go for like a smaller one and then a pint glass and then in terms of a mug just any mug this is one that my friend Correa bought me it's so nice um but yeah just any kind of mug because obviously it's good for hot drinks so next up we have cutlery and utensils mm -hmm. this is becca's lovely cutlery that she bought for university it yeah. is rose gold so yes. you can see but that's not actually that good because if you've got a dishwasher all of those, I mean, you probably can't see from here, but all of the colour that comes off the rose gold. Uh, but it was good in the sense that you could differentiate. And it's so pretty. Yes. Love it. Um, so I bought like a full on set, like there were six pieces of everything there. But I literally think you need two of each. I agree. One for you, one for a guest. Yeah, absolutely. Maximum. And then if you have more guests over, you can just borrow your flatmates. Like, yeah, so they won't everyone mind. ends up sharing anyway, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So like, I wouldn't worry about like taking loads of stuff. Same for the plates and everything. Just two of everything. Yeah, it's agreed. Perfect. Um, and then in terms of utensils, obviously like a spoon. I've just got this Chinese one that we had in the house. Um, or a slotted spoon if you mm -hmm. like poached egg. Um, and then just like a little flipper, um, so scrambled eggs, pancakes, chips, Anything. literally everything. Yeah. These are so That'll essential. Be your go Absolutely. Then some tongs, um, again, really good for flipping things um, that you've got in the oven. Oh, and on that note as well, baking trays. Like they are oh, amazing. Yes. You need like at least one, if not more, because you, I mean you could borrow your flatmates, but. Baking trays. You know what I took? A pizza tray. Yes. And everyone was like oh, loving me so for it. Good. So good. So I had to be I like the flat fave. It was like that. a pound from Asda, my yeah, pizza tray. So like, cheap. So good. Definitely get that. Um, and then more utensils, we've got a peeler, always really handy, pizza cutter, or just scissors will do, to be honest. I use scissors. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't think anyone really like is that fancy at uni. Um, and then a bottle opener and a wine opener as well. They give away loads of bottle openers at fresher events. Yes, they do. But wine openers, they do not, so. Next up, we have a utensil holder. I assume, Becca, you would put these in a drawer. Yes, definitely. Yeah, so if you bagged a drawer in yes. your uni kitchen. Lucky you. <laughs> lucky you, first of all. <laughs> but you can pop your different cutlery and maybe utensils in here. Yeah. Um, if you have a cupboard, which I did, I would just grab an old mug that I didn't yeah. want to or use for hot glass. drinks. Or a pint glass, like anything with a bit of height to it. Yeah. And just pop all your cutlery in there. Absolutely, yeah. And then also, as you can see, I love rose gold at the time of buying uni stuff. <laughs> Um, a tin like this is really good for like coffee, tea. I've just got my little espresso 
capsules in there. Um, so I actually took like a Nespresso machine, just like the cheapest one yeah, that they do. Um, I think it was like £50 from John Lewis and it came with some capsules and uh, a milk frother as well. And that was amazing, especially during exam season. And it's good for making friends because free coffee. It really is. I would sometimes take a tin like that for biscuits. I'm such yeah. a biscuit person, aren't yeah. I? So I'd fill that with bourbons easily. Yeah, oh my gosh, absolutely. <laughs> I'd eat them all straight away as yes. well. Final things for the kitchen. Um, these Tupperwares are amazing, the ones with the little um, microwave thing so you can heat up food and store it like in the fridge with them as well they're so good so handy if you've got like a curry or a chili left over and then take like microwave rice to uni and just mm -hmm. heat that up really handy then we've got um, these bowls as well they're so useful you know for scrambled egg or just like general cooking if you're making like a different sauce and stuff and mixing ingredients these are really useful just like the pyrex ones I think they're like two pounds from Wilco or something like that and then final things um, this is what do you call this? You put, like, like hot stuff on it. Yeah, heat protector. Um, definitely get one of these because mm -hmm. you will always be cooking a lot of pasta in first year. That's yeah. such a classic, definitely. and you don't want to burn the surfaces. Yeah. So buy one of these, or a fabric one, or yes, put it on here, or one of these. <laughs> do you also use this for a chopping board? Yeah, actually? yeah, yeah. So grab a chopping board. Sometimes yeah. you can have one for meat and one for Fish. vegetables. Yeah. Um, mix them up, but yeah, these are definitely needed. So add them to your list. And a sharp knife as well. Oh, that. Oh, yeah. That point. I didn't bring one with me. Um, but yeah, just like one good sharp knife. That's all you need. Okay, next, moving on to like bedroom stuff. So firstly, a speaker, so important. So important. Yeah, really good for like parties and also just to have in your room. Or we had like Alexas as well, didn't we? Yes, like, we Amazon did. Echoes. They're really handy as well. And if you're lonely, someone's chat to. But don't annoy your flatmates. Top tip with your music being too loud. Oh, yeah. My flatmate once texted me saying, uh, it feels like I'm at a gig. <laughs> from your room and I was like, I'm oh, so sorry. sorry. So don't put it up too loud. Maybe headphones as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next. Um, so this is just a painting from Uganda, but it's just to symbolize, like take something that makes you feel happy yeah. and kind of reminds you of a good memory, mm -hmm. whether it's a photograph from home or something from like traveling. Yeah. Um, yeah, just have something that makes you happy. Definitely. And on the note of photos. Oh yeah, so I've just got these pegs because in first year as most people do. I had those classic fairy lights yeah. and then in between each one I'd peg some photos. So just take some pegs. Yeah. Um, I don't think you're allowed blue tack. You're allowed white tack in some places. Yeah, I had a pin, pin board. board. Yeah. yeah, so I just literally pinned all mine on a pin. Or oh, you had a uh, whiteboard with magnets as well, I right? did, yeah. So yeah. any of those. Have but have some photos, they'll make you feel homely and yeah. lovely. For sure. First thing for games. Cards is an absolute must. Any kind of cards, I'd get cheap ones, and also you get loads of pressure events as well mm -hmm. from like companies too. Um, but yeah, don't bring your expensive ones until later on, I'd say. Absolutely not. And then I've also got this game called Code Names. Maybe not for like freshers, but like as you get to know your flatmates, mm -hmm. you can have games nights. I also had a poker set. Um, we didn't play with like proper money, just like a two pound buy-in or something. Um, but yeah, that was really good. You had such good game nights. So yeah. definitely, if you're flying to games, yes, buy loads. Games nights are my favourite. Um, some more like out there games yeah. could be prosecco pong or beer pong. Yes. So get yourself a set. If you don't want to splurge on this, you can just go to a supermarket and get those red cups. Yeah, and also. So, um, yeah, table tennis balls. Yes. And then finally, what's down here? <laughs> you've got to take fancy dress to university. Yes. So I've stolen this from my brother. It's a pepper <laughs> outfit. I've yeah. never worn it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, grab some fancy dress because you'll go, to, any you'll fancy go dress. to so many parties or yeah. sports night, etc. Where you'll need to wear something crazy. So take as much fancy dress okay, as you let's, can. Let's give them some ideas and inspiration. Well, school uniform. School uniform. Take yeah. that. That's easy for you to just get from anywhere. Any like neon? Neon, bright coloured things. What else People wear like toga stuff, don't yeah, they? Yeah, oh my gosh, parties. yeah. Any kind of old sheets and stuff like that. Yeah. Literally just anything you can make an outfit out of, basically. Most people do DIY, like yeah. uniforms oh for my gosh, yeah. and stuff. So, so you think you've got to buy like full on fancy dress outfits for every night? No. Like, you can definitely make your outfit don't. from stuff in your flat, really. Yeah, definitely. So next up, some practical stuff. Really quickly, I just got a hard drive, particularly when you're writing your disc. If you don't have iCloud or anything, yes. get a hard drive backup every day because it'll be your worst nightmare if it goes. Yeah. Also, a water bottle to take into university. Hopefully something that can like keep the coolness in it. So yeah. I've got a Chili's bottle, but any brand will do. And also like a coffee 
um, yes, like a flask. Yes, yeah. definitely, if you're into hot drinks. And then I've just got a bin. I think they're really important. One for the bathroom if you've got an ensuite, and then one for your bedroom. And most accommodations do have them, mm -hmm. but mine didn't in second and third year. So yeah, look out for that. Um, <laughs> Then an iron. <laughs> so I've just got this portable iron. I mean, realistically, you don't need an iron. Just hang your clothes up straight away as soon as you've washed them and they won't crease. But if you do have any formal occasions, like the boys were wearing shirts and the girls were wearing like beautiful mm -hmm. silk dresses that needed ironing. So, yeah. <laughs> and finally, <laughs> a throw or a blanket. Just to be really homely, perfect for like snuggling up um, in the living room stuff and just to make your room feel a bit more cozy. cozy yeah absolutely and also on the topic of bedding take a double duvet mm -hmm. even if you've got a single bed definitely and take two lots of sheets and two lots of towels as well yes because, because then, advice um you'd have to wash them straight you know away what i've just thought of i was oh. thinking of it earlier Go on. final one i'm so sorry take a doorstop <laughs> yes oh my gosh that is yes because it would make you so yeah. social in first year people don't have to knock on you your door and open a doorstop it. Keep the door open with yeah. a lovely door. So you've got like a really nice, expensive one. The didn't solid you? metal. Yeah. Isn't it? You see, I just bought cheap ones, but I bought like a ten pack, and then all of my flatmates used them as well. Oh, amazing! Yeah, our doors—they're all like fire safety, aren't they? Yeah, so they're super heavy. So just get something that opens it up, and then you can be the most sociable flat. Absolutely. And then last things, um, obviously, you need to take your normal clothes, take mm -hmm. them in suitcases, so then it's really easy if you go visit friends and stuff, and also to manoeuvre unless you're Sophie, in which case. Take it in suit carriers. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then also like a bedside lamp or like a desk lamp as mm -hmm. well is really useful. Um, your stationery, obviously, like any like normal stuff you need for uni, your laptop, um, any pens, any notepads and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. A four gang um, yeah. with like your chargers and stuff like that. Um, and take things in like boxes that you'd be able to carry and pack away. So I had those like yes. foldable crates. But just like don't take them in whatever and then it's just a nightmare to carry, you know, be sensible. Yeah, I made sure my boxes could fit under my bed. Yes. I knew the height under my bed. <laughs> and I made sure <laughs> they were you knew exact. that. Well, I mean, message anyone that you know at that accommodation, I yes. guess, to find the height of the bed. But yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We really hope you've enjoyed and best of luck with packing for Absolutely. uni. Absolutely. So exciting. Check out our other videos. We've got lots on like university and careers and college and everything like that. So yeah, check them out. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.